This is a video to develop fast double bass drums and they are normally written as 16th rhythms and I teach three techniques and the pupil will generally choose their favourite one but it's, it's good to sort of have an understanding of all three. So there is toe toe, slide and heel toe. So if we look at the footboard of a bass drum, at the top here is where the power is and at the bottom is where the spring it's most springy so we find a sweet spot in the middle and Toto would look like this there's an expression of um, heels down or heels up drummers so heels down is a bit of a softer sometimes used for jazz what we call feather in the bass drum but generally if you want power because when we're on heels down we use our shin muscles to contract to pull the toes up but if once we lift our heel up, we're using our quads um, and it's a much bigger muscle set behind it. So, toe toe. Sound like. And you just, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. The next one is slide. So we start in the same position, but our first note is here and then back. Now, if you're stuck going back to the toe-toe, if they're crushing and you can't get them out, I would strongly advise trying the slide technique. Because that slide, the minute you pull the toes down the board, the beta releases from the skin, it has to. So we get the... It's just a really efficient way of loading the beta that sort of 45 degree angle ready to hit okay if you find doing both of these is still not getting the response from the beta you may need to look at tightening the spring and generally this is kind of a trial and error process but if you feel when you're lifting your foot not so much the, the uh, footboard is pushing you up but if it's not staying with your foot then you give, give the spring a few turns tighten it and you might find it just sort of tracks your the upward motion, the lift of your foot more, and then that's what you need. Because the idea is we need to get the beta releasing from the skin. Because the further back it comes, the more definition there will be when you strike the bass drum. So we have Toto, we have Slide. And then we have Hill Toe. Hill toe is my preferred technique for faster speeds. Um, but for slower speeds, I find it, it's a bit heavy, it's a bit clumsy. So at a slower speed now, hill toe. So what's happening here, um, it's maybe probably considered the more unorthodox technique of the three. But the, the, way, I, the way I do it is um, I have the beta buried into the skin to begin with heel up and then the first strike is the heel down and we're getting a tone there and that then frees the toes to make the second note So for me, the heel toe is better for faster tempos. It's, I get more definition out of it. It's just more of a hammer, sort of harder hitting technique and a feeling when I'm doing it. So, um... And a final factor to take into consideration is where we're sat because this affects the angles of our upper legs and our lower legs. So if you look at our knee, you don't want your knee to be going past your, where your ankle is. So it would make your shin come backwards into you. You want, uh, if anything, your shin sort of sloping away from you ever so slightly. And you want your pelvis, when you're sat on your stool, or higher at least, even if it's just, I have mine just slightly higher than my knees. So there's a slight downward slope from my pelvis to my knees. Some drummers like to sit really high. 
you can sit low if you want to but when you start doing the fast stuff rather than pushing you're going to be pulling your knee up and that's resistance and we're looking for efficiency especially with speed so give it a go and see which of the toe toe slide or heel toe you prefer doing and try and get the hang of all three of them as well because you'll find they're different tools for different jobs.